gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's production of Legally Blonde, the musical. This show is brought to you by our sponsors, King Arthur's Self Storage. mid -Bell Main Street Theater would like to thank all of their supporters, and at this time, ask that you please take a moment to silence all cell phones, pagers, beeping watches, and any other noise-making device. Video or audio recording of this show, as well as any form of photography, is strictly prohibited. Now, sit back and relax as Midbell Main Street Theater proudly presents Legally Blonde, the musical. Yeah. 
I can't look like I'm desperate or like I'm waiting for it. I gotta leave Warner his pride. So pride is more implied. Oh my god, oh my god, you guys. All this week I've had butterflies. Every time he looks at me, it's totally proposal. Baby, that's why you're 
I did talk about it with my parents, Pooh Bear, but they expect a lot from me. I'm going to Harvard Law School. My brother's going to Yale Law. So is his new wife, and she's a Vanderbilt, for Christ's sake. Oh, so I'm not good enough for you? Wonder I'm from Malibu and not exactly trailer trash here. Richard Simmons is my neighbor. <laughs> well, if I'm going to be a senator when I'm 30, I'm going to need somebody serious. Less of a Marilyn, more of a Jackie. Serious. Somebody classy and not too tacky. What? OK, that came out wrong. Maybe it's both be strong. I mean, we can hold all along. Shut up! What does that mean? I'm not a Jackie. I'm not serious. I'm seriously in love with you. Baby, my future's a play. I've got some dreams to make true. I thought that you'd understand. It's time to get serious. Time to get serious. Check, please. Too bad, because that 
flash presentation. But I still don't see one reason to admit I go 
you got into Harvard. What, like it's hard? <laughs> I, I believe this is yours, Woods, comma, L. Oh, is this my social agenda? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no, it's your academic roster? Oh, well, there's that. We should totally catch up after class. <laughs> Who is she? It's my ex-girlfriend. All that pink you're wearing, is that even legal? Pink is my signature color, so I gathered. All right, everyone, take your seats. Callahan should be here any second. You know, three years ago, I was sitting right where you were sitting, and I'd heard the rumors I'm sure you've heard, too. Callahan's ruthless. He bathes in the blood of sheep, blah, blah, blah. Only partly true. What you really need to know is You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say will be used against you. Now, when you choose a law career, the moment you embark, there is that joke you're bound to hear, a lawyer is a shark. Ignore that, it's simplistic and it's dumb. Only some of you will turn out sharks, just some. The rest are chum. Our topic is blood in the water. Kids, it's time to face. Law school is a waste. Oh yes, unless you acquire a taste for blood in the water. Dark and red and raw, you're nothing until the thrill of the kill becomes your only law. Mr. Schultz, hypothetical question. Would you be willing to defend the following banker if you used to fraud? A kind old grandma took her savings and she sent it. Offered to her client all she saved since she was born. Well, he promised to invest it, but he spent it on prostitutes and heroin and porn. No, I would not want to take that case. Wrong! This was a win! Unless you're lazy. Grandma's broke, she'll have some hat from legal aid. Put her on a stand and call her old and crazy. Your guy goes free and he can get you high and late. <laughs> Blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with the morally dubious job. Yes, blood in the water. Your scruples are a flock. Miss Goose. Another hypothetical. Would you be the right lawyer for the following client? Say they're offering you a bundle for defending a famous hitman for the mafia elite. Seems he missed his chosen prey, killed a nun, and drove away, running off with three cute puppies in the street. What, you think I wouldn't defend him just because he's a typical man? <laughs> oh, you lesbians think you're so tough. <laughs> oh dear, I fear my comment has offended. Hard to argue, though, when you're too mad to speak. Your employment will be very quickly ended once they see how your emotions make you weak. So what's my point? I run a billion dollar law firm, and I hire four new interns every year. From this class, I will select four young sharks whom I respect, and those four will have a guaranteed career. Do you follow me? So I wanna see what?
heard your classmates. You have just been killed. She cuts your throat, so grab your coat. Yes, you've got guts. But now there's still your blood in the water.